I see an earthquake in the future. Yes, what does the future hold? A shorter candle, really? Yeah, I'm gonna have to invest in a new one one of these days. Oh, hello there, welcome to Cheapy Creepies, AKA Dr. Lady's Affordable Mask Pick of the Week. Uh, come right in, we'll just move the, uh, the scientific equipment out of the way there. Uh, as you know, every week we like to bring you a look at some interesting masks that you might not have noticed that are good for your haunting and scaring pleasure. And, uh, well, tonight we have a little something from uh, the artists formerly known as B-something. They're known as Zagoni now. And this particular fellow is called Pity Please. Now that's P-I-T-T-Y, like he has a lot of pits in him, not P-I-T-Y. Uh, with one T, which would be how you'd spell it if he meant, like, take pity on someone, or someone who is pitiful, you'd use one T. So if you're describing me, you'd use one T. But if you're talking about something with lots of pits in it, I don't know why it's called that, because he isn't really pity as such, like, uh, well, a zombie with a lot of holes in its face. Basically, he only has one, one hole of, of any uh, major uh, import, and that's right here. That's his important hole in the head. Uh, and, and yeah, he's saying I needed that like a hole in the head, but this is a cool zombie, I think. And well, he was first around back in the 1990s, and he looked like this. And I always thought it was weird that this, um, whatever this is, brain matter, I believe, was black. Uh, I know when I first saw it in the catalog, and I was looking at the little catalog picture of it, I didn't even get it. I didn't understand what that was, and I thought, I looked at that little tiny picture, and I thought, is that a... Um, a swarm of bugs coming out of his brains or is it like some metal chain coiled around and stuck in his head or something? I couldn't tell in the picture and that may be why when they uh, when they re-released it in uh, uh, 2000 something eight or nine or ten somewhere in there they re-released it and the re-release version looked like this and uh, well in addition to having pink or, or kind of a nasty, bloody, reddish, pinkish, purple color for the brain matter instead of, instead of black. Uh, he was uh, also a considerably lighter on the whole. Well, not just on the whole, but uh, everywhere else too. Yeah, um, and you know, usually uh, masks are best in their first editions. And usually you want to get the first edition and it's always better than the re-releases. But in the case of this one, kind of liking the reissue better. Uh, he's, he's like most Zagoni slash B something products. He's a latex uh, front half with a uh, fabric fur back half. Again, a, a slight difference is that the older ones had this silvery fur uh, for the hair piece and the new ones have a little darker uh, gray. But um, uh, there he is. Two versions of P-I-T-T-Y, please. I don't know why he's called that, but he's a cool mask. He's uh, good to wear, and clearly whatever reanimated him did not make him the sort of zombie who dies from, or re-dies, I should say, from a blow to the head, because he's taken a pretty severe head injury, and he's still just walking around being the life of the party, head wound Harry. So look for pity, please, and we'll see you here again next time for another recommendation on Cheapy Creepy, I mean Creepy Cheapies.